Alright, so based on some papers, I'll, I'll try and explain the way I uh, sort of view the problem. I <coughs> realize it's probably easier <coughs> easier to do on a uh, basis of a two-way conversation and feedback or whatever, but I'll, I'll try and go through my understanding of how uh, PCA uh, relates to uh, uh, GMDS. Um, I'll try and go through the basics without uh, putting any of the equations and without actually putting things on the screen. Uh, even though it probably would have been beneficial, I, I guess. So let me just draw a, a, uh, a sort of picture of a hyperspace here on my side. And let me say this is the hyperspace where I have basically, let's say I've got two arrows here, just draw it very quickly. Okay. Uh, so these are the principal axes in a PCA, uh, typical PCA problem. I basically just plot the arrows. <coughs> this would be the uh, principal component in one direction, I suppose. Um, and if that's the case, if that's the principal component, in this case, let's say it's not a very perfect uh, circle, uh, then I can reduce along this axis and reduce this line here into a, let me just choose a color, so I can just give it a different color. Um, and I can reduce everything to this plane here, which I show in red. Uh, so this is my new plane here. Uh, and what I'm trying to do is to sample along the uh, uh, reduced dimensions. I could map all the points uh, <coughs> in this cloud of points. So uh, this is not really a circle, it's really a cloud of points or a hyperspace of sorts, in this case in 2D. And I can reduce everything to 2D. So every, uh, let me just take a small um, thing to plot with. Uh, let's say every point here is going to be mapped onto the plane here and that's going to be a sort of a, uh, uh, a lower dimensionality uh, thingy of sorts. Okay, so now what we have here is a situation where a, a high dimensional problem, a 2D problem, becomes a 1D problem. That's basically what PCA is doing, that's pretty obvious. And, uh, uh, in the next part, I'll just try and explain uh, very quickly uh, uh, what we're doing with the uh, problem of face analysis by classical, you know, PCA problem versus GMDS.